Dear students, now we are going to discuss in terms of 8051 microcontroller in detail. Let's start with the definition of interrupt. Interrupt is an event or signal that temporarily stops the main program execution and transfers the control to an external task. After completing that external task, the control returns to its main program. That means, if you want to do any external task in mid of the main program, we can use this interrupt. There are five interrupt sources available in AT51. Two external hardware interrupts, INT0, INT1. Two timer overflow interrupts, TF0, TF1. One serial communication interrupt, RI slash TI. Here RI means receive interrupt, TI means transmit interrupt. Okay. There are three registers involved in this interrupt process. Interrupt enable register, interrupt parity register and the timer control register. So, these three registers are used in the interrupt process in 8051. Interrupt enable register that is IE register. It is a bit addressable register which is responsible for enabling and disabling the interrupt. Okay, so here this is the bit representation of this IE register. So, here we can start from this LSB that is least significant bit 0 that is EX0, ET0, EX1, ET1, ES and here the 5th and 6th bits. Okay, both the bits are reserved for future use. Okay, so the last one MSB is EA. Okay, so let's discuss each bit in detail here. Since it is bit addressable, we can define each bit with its register. Here the 0th bit can be represented as IE.0. Its value is EX0. This bit is used to enable or disable external hardware interrupt 0. That is, if this bit is equal to 1, it enables the hardware interrupt 0. If it is equal to 0, it disables that. 0 hardware interrupt. So, the next bit is IE.1. So, here it is ET0. So, this bit is used to enable or disable timer 0 overflow interrupt. So, if it is equal to 1 means it enables that TF0 interrupt. If it is 0, it disables that TF0 interrupt. Okay. Similarly, the next bit EX1 is used to enable or disable external hardware interrupt 1. ET1 is used to enable or disable timer 1 overflow interrupt. So, here ES, this bit is used to enable or disable serial communication interrupt. So, next, these two bits okay, are reserved for future use and the last MSB bit. That is IE.7. It is denoted as EA. If EA is equal to 0, no acknowledgement to any interrupt. If EA is equal to 1, it enables the acknowledgement to any interrupt request. Okay. So, this IE register is very important to enable or disable the interrupt request. Okay. Next one is IP register. That is interrupt priority register. Here the priority levels of the interrupts can be changed by changing the corresponding bit in the IP register. So it is used to change the priority levels of the interrupts. Okay. So this is the bit representation. It is also bit addressable register. So here we can have the value PX0 at LSP, PT0, PX1, PT1, PS. The remaining three bits are reserved for future use okay so let's start with this lsb ip.0 that is equal to px0 so this bit is used to define the external hardware interrupt 0 priority level if it is 1 then that particular interrupt is having the highest priority okay so next one is ip.1 that is pt0 so, it defines the priority level of timer 0 overflow interrupt. Then PEX1, it defines the priority level of external hardware interrupt 1. Similarly, PT1 means priority level of timer 1 overflow interrupt. 
then the ps is nothing but the priority level of serial port inter the remaining three bits are reserved for future use okay so next one is interrupt vector table so here vector means its memory address so each interrupt is having its own memory address in 8051 and its default priority level so the highest priority is given to this int 0 that is external hardware interrupt 0 the next priority level is given to timer 0 overflow interrupt okay so here this interrupt location is 003h for this timer 0 its location is 000bh so next level is int1 then tf1 rita the lowest priority is given to this rita serial communication interrupt so consider two interrupts with different priority levels are received simultaneously then the higher priority level will be executed first for example if you are going to receive tf0 and int1 interrupt simultaneously then the processor will execute the highest priority level that is tf0 first and then int1 do you all understand so you have to remember this vector table it is very important because the highest priority interrupt is int0 the lowest one is serial port interrupt is that okay the last one is tcon register tcon means timer control register this register is used to specify the type of external interrupt to 8051 microcontroller so this is the bit representation for this tcon register the bit values are it0 ie0 it1 ie1 tr0 tf0 tr1 tf1 okay so this register is used to specify the type of external interrupt so here we can get that external hardware interrupts by using these two bits okay it0 as well as ie the bits ie0 and ie1 are used to generate the external hardware interrupts the interrupts can be either level activated or edge activated depending on it0 and it1 bits so these four bits are used to generate the external hardware interrupts okay this tf0 and tf1 these two bits are used to generate the timer overflow interrupts timer 0 and timer 1 interrupts are generated by tf0 and tf1 bits okay so here the serial port interrupt is generated by the logical r of ri and ti bit so here this is very important how do we generate the serial port interrupt in 8051 by taking the logical R operation between the transmit interrupt and receive interrupt bits. Okay.